Hello, everybody, and welcome to Episode 9 of Bill's Brews. Today's episode is going to be titled Brewing a Steak. Yeah, Brewing a Steak. Sounds kind of odd, but I'll tell you all about it. Um, many of you have probably heard of the sous vide method of cooking, uh, especially things like meats and steaks and even fish and vegetables. Well, I, I would start to look into it, and you know, everything I see talks about having some sort of a device that controls the temperature of water very accurately. And the more I thought about it, well, that's what my mash and boil does, right? It controls the water very accurately, you know, really good to temperature. And it has the ability, you know, to go all the way from room temperature up to boiling. And, you know, the temperature range that you need for the sous vide cooking of steak is somewhere in the 130 degree range. At least that's the way I like it. That's, that's how you can cook a steak medium rare. Now, what I did was I took a steak, uh, very inexpensive, a chuck cut, basically a chuck steak. And uh, it was the cheapest steak I could find in the grocery store just to try it. And what I do is I took it home, opened the package up, and I salted, peppered, and spiced it up with some garlic a little bit, you know, rubbed it in on both sides and let it sit for a while. And then I put it into a simple plastic bag, a resealable plastic bag. And I used a quart size. I had a, you know, fairly, maybe a steak about this big. It fit right in there nicely. And all you need to do is with the bag open, lower that bag with the steak in it slowly into some water, into a pot of water or something else. And what that does is it compresses the air out of the bag. And when you get it down to that level, just before the opening of the bag is going to go into the water, you seal it. So now you have your steak, your uh, seasoned steak in this plastic bag. And um, what you want to do is you can look up. There's a couple different temperatures to use, but I like the around 129, 130 degrees. So I set my mash and boil to 130 degrees, put about three gallons of water into it and uh, let it heat up. And I simply took this bag with the steak in it, lowered it down into the mash and boil and let it sit. Now, all you need to do is let it sit in there for maybe two and a half hours. And that cooks it perfectly. And you're not going to overcook it. Don't, don't even think about that. I, I thought it was going to do that too, but it doesn't overcook it because you control the temperature. So the inside of that steak never goes above the temperature of the water. So I let it sit for about two and a half hours. And then I took it out, opened that bag, um, laid it out on a plate just to take a look at it. You know, it looked kind of brown, not not brown, but kind of like grayish, like you would think it might look. Um, so the next step is to take that and to basically just brown the two sides in a frying pan. So you take a frying pan. I threw some butter in there, let it heat up really good, the skillet. And I just basically browned both sides of that steak for about 30 seconds on each side. Pulled it out, put it back down on the plate let it sit for about another five minutes to kind of cool down and finish kind of settling in. And now what you have is a perfect steak cooked exactly to that temperature. And of course we have this great steak. We have to have some beer with it too. So I poured myself a glass of some of this uh, peach mango stuff that I made a few months back. And that, that went nicely with that steak and um, laid it out on a plate, which I'll show, you'll see in some pictures here. And honestly, this inexpensive steak cooked in my mash and boil was probably the best steak I've had in my whole life. Um, you know, under, under 150 bucks served in a fancy restaurant. I mean, I, I know what good steak tastes like. I, I've been in Tokyo and had a Kobe steak when Kobe steak was really good. And this was just as good. So, um, you know, if you ever want to, you know, go along with this concept, I don't call it sous vide. I call it brewing a steak. And, uh, you got to give it a try. You got to give it a try. So what I'll do is I'll write down all the instructions. And if you come and visit my um, my Facebook page, I'll put the instructions there so everyone know how it works. And I'll tell you, if you have a mash and boil or one of the other uh, brewing devices like that, that can control the temperature of the water, give it a try. You don't need to go out and buy some additional device. Use what you got. And I'll tell you, this steak was just beautiful. The steak was beautiful. And... Um, if you set it to the temperature of the doneness that you want, I promise, I promise you'll be happy with it. You just give it a try. And don't buy an expensive cut of steak. Buy something inexpensive. They actually work better. They actually work better in this method. Anyway, that's all for now. So please 
like and subscribe and uh, visit our Facebook page and please subscribe there to join our Facebook page. We really uh, appreciate it when you do that. Anyway, well, cheers. And uh, I'm sure we'll have more for you later. Bye-bye.